Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. I want to have a look at the builders across the whole ASX sector. It's been an interesting earnings season for them because it's been highlighted by takeovers. Have a look at the rest of the takeover that's going to happen at Adbri, formerly Adelaide Brighton Cement, and also Boral, which realistically was already taken out with regards to what Seven Group own inside of it. But why I highlight it, it's an interesting space. The numbers coming out from James Hardy were you know, inverted. They weren't fantastic, but there is signs that there is change. If you look at CSR as well, another takeover inside that building space, they are just showing you ever so slightly that there is ticked up in the amount of demand for Giprock as well. Yes, interest rates are high. Yes, the short-term outlook for them isn't fantastic. But medium to longer term, the R&R, so what we refer to in R&R, which is renovation and reconstruction, it's starting to pick up. And if you look particularly in the US and those builders that are exposed to the US, there is ever so small signs that green shoots are happening, that demand is going to actually continue to be well and truly above expectations at this point in the cycle. So an interesting earnings season from builders. Yes, they were mixed. Yes, it was highlighted by what was going on in the M&A space, but I think that's actually why it could be interesting and why it's a little bit exciting. Certainly no immediate one individual stock standing out over the others. But the longer term trend is there, and I think that's also something to be aware of, considering that builders have been beaten up on the idea that interest rates are high, the global economy is slowing, and that the overall pressure on the household is too high to get into that space. Maybe we're wrong. 